In the 1970s, the whole world of being a girl was infected with a terrible parasite. It was the colour pink. Sweet, small, my sweet. If you're a boy and you go into a toy store and the whole part of that department is pink, you know you do not go there. But go there I must if I'm ever to understand the formative years of the mind of woman. I was once given a pink shirt, which I've never worn. It's not a macho thing. I just really don't like the colour pink. So I've come here to confront this particular chromatic demon. I'm sorry, but that is hideous. And in my England, it would be outlawed. In Victorian times, pink was for boys. And even into the 20th century, pink was considered a boy's colour. The symbols we have for things are purely conventional. They're learned and handed down. Pink for girls, blue for boys. If everything you do, from your baby clothes through to your toys to your teddy bears, is coded that way, it becomes part of your life. What is the pink thing? What's it about? Little girls absolutely love pink, sparkle, flutter, glitter. I don't know, it could be association with fairies, angels, butterflies, but anything of that variety sells enormously well. And does pink sell better than yellow? Say? Absolutely. They definitely go towards the pink spectrum. Even lilac and white with specks of um, pink won't sell as well as pink. Pure pink is it. Is, is it. Well then, I'm as confused and nauseated as when I arrived. I simply don't get it. But here's where the backlash begins. 